Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Apple Modder here, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the methods to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1 on Windows. And by the way, this is untethered, and the devices supported for it are the iPhone 4 GSM model or AT&T. They're the same thing. iPhone 3GS old and new boot ROM, the iPod Touch 4G, and the iPod Touch 3G, as well as the first generation iPad. So you're gonna need two things for this jailbreak today. First one is gonna be Snow Breeze 2.5, and the link for that will be down below. Then you're gonna need your device's 4.3.1 firmware, and a link for that will be down below as well. So first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is extract Snow Breeze to your desktop. Then, if you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're gonna to wanna to right click, go into Properties, go into the Compatibility tab, check run this program compatibility mode then scroll down to windows xp service pack 2 then here below you want to check run this program as an administrator now check apply then ok alright now that we have snow breeze opened up you just want to press ok close credits then you want to press next on the bottom right then you want to browse for your ipsw and you want to select your 4.3.1 ipsw and for ease of access you might want to just put it onto your desktop now you want to just click open now it's going to identify our ipsw all right now it's asking me if my iphone 3gs is new or old boot rom and mine is a new boot rom if you don't have an iphone 3gs then you don't have to worry about this all right now you want to just click next down here so baseband preservation mode, simple mode, or expert mode. So if you do want to actually preserve your baseband, you'd have to be on 4.2.1 upgrading to 4.3.1. You can't already be on 4.3.1. And I assume that most people are already on the new firmware. And by the way, any one of these that you check will preserve the baseband either way. And you're going to want to definitely, no matter what, go with expert mode. So once you check expert mode, click on next. Then check general, then go next. Alrighty, now here it's going to ask you enable battery percentage, check that if you want. Now over here it's asking you, do you want to enable multitasking gestures? And I selected yes. That is a very cool feature and I'll show you guys in another video. And if you want, you can also install your SSH, which means that you can access your device from your computer. And if you want to rely on an unlock, then you want to check this, activate the iPhone, which is activating it, which means that if you don't have an AT&T or Verizon SIM card or carrier, then it will just give you an emergency call a sliding button. But if you check this, then it'll unlock it for you so you don't have to deal with that. So now that you've checked what you wanted, select next. If you want to unlock your iPhone 3GS, then check install 6.15.00 iPad baseband, but I'm not going to cover that right now. Then here, if you want to download any packages so they can be pre-installed on your device once it's jailbroken, or want to add any sources, here's where you're going to do it, but I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Go next. Okay, now you just want to select build IPSW, and then you want to go next. Now just give this a while, probably take about 15 to 20 minutes, and I'll be back once it is complete. Alrighty, now we've successfully created our custom Snow Breeze IPSW, and Snow Breeze should have automatically put it on your desktop, and you will see that in one second. So now we're going to have to put our device in DFU mode, and once I get out my device, I'll resume with the video. Alrighty, so now that I have my iPhone 3GS, I'm just going to connect it with the USB to my computer. Okay, so now that I'm connected, it's asking me to turn off my device. Alright, so now when I click start down here, the first thing it's going to ask me to do is hold down both the power and the home button for 10 seconds. After holding down the combination for 10 seconds, release the power button and hold down only the home button for about 20 seconds. So now we're just going to start. All right, it's going to start in three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm holding down both buttons in two, one. Now release the power button. Now I'm only holding down the home button. And now it has detected my iPhone and it is running iRab. It says my device is in a Pwn DFU. And now we're just going to want to open up iTunes. Still be holding the home button. Alright, now we have iTunes opened up. 
says that my device is in DFU mode and now it is safe to release the home button press OK now where it says restore you want to come over to restore let me zoom in on it here you want to hold down shift and click on restore while holding down shift now you want to browse for your new Snowbreeze custom IPSW which should be at the bottom of the scrolling list you want to select it and press OK now it's going to ask you want to restore it will erase everything and verify the restore with Apple now we're restoring and by the way a lot of people have been asking me that can I just go into my iPhone without going through this DFU so none of my stuff gets deleted and the answer is no because Snowbreeze actually puts your device in a pwned state which Apple can't detect that if it's a real IPSW or a custom IPSW and this is the reason why you must go through this DFU mode and I'll be back when the restore is done and I'll show you the new Cydia running on 4.3.1 Alright guys, so now that my iPhone has booted up, I'm just going to show you that I do have multitasking gestures. Alright, I'm just turning them on. And as you can see, when I go into an application and go like this, it closes. And I'm just going to open up Cydia so you can see it. Let me go under user. Alrighty, and as you can see, Cydia is initialized and is up and running. So please guys, if you have any questions or concerns, if it is not working for you, something's not working, just leave a comment down below and please subscribe and ultimately have a nice day.